Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Sweet Update Bro, or in this case, Sweet Christmas Update Bro. Steve Russell here, all Sweet Story Bro. Just to give you a couple of updates about where the podcast is and uh, what's going to happen over the holiday period. First and foremost, I hope you're having a great holiday, enjoying the festivities and whatnot. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it happens to be. I hope you're taking the time to enjoy it with your family, taking the time for yourself as well. This time of year is always pretty reflective, you know, self-reflective and, and introspective and whatnot. And um, yeah, take the opportunity to enjoy the holidays with the people that really matter, you know. We're all Christmassy here right now. You can see from my very Christmassy Christmas hat behind me, the depths of hell are open, or Christmas fireplace on the screen. Very warm, very chills, I mean, warms the soul, doesn't chill the soul. But I just wanted to give you a couple updates, like I said. I mean, first and foremost, you still got time. Still got time, so don't panic too much, right? When, when this comes up, you still got a little bit of time before Christmas. But if you're stumped about what to get somebody, allow me to make a personal recommendation here. Check out the podcast, because everybody loves a story. Everybody loves to get caught up in the drama, the enthralling action of what a story can bring, whether it's a video game, a, a book, a movie, a, a box set, whatever it happens to be. And there are a few that I look at that could be a great fit for your loved one, or hey, even yourself, if you wanted to treat your bad self, you know? You don't want to waste your time, so check out the ones that are officially too sweet, all available on the website. Listen to the review, make your decisions, and who knows, you may be able to find your new favorite story, or more importantly, introduce somebody to their new favorite story. Happy to help, man. And if you wanted to, of course, you could always use the Amazon link that's available on the website, sweetstorybro.com. Click on the link. No more expensive for you. Kicks a small percentage back to the show that goes straight back into the pocket. Let me show you. See behind me there, you got the pop filter and you got the cable that connects it to the computer. Those were directly thanks to you guys. Because of your Amazon purchases, because of your donations at paypal.me slash sweetstorybro. There's also a donate button on the website. Because of you kind-hearted people that enjoy the show, you wanted to donate, you wanted to help the show out, that's the proof. Go straight back in to try and get better quality equipment, better quality everything to bring you a better show. The only thing I wish I could do was give more, give you more, more content, if you will. Maybe one day, hey. But that's just proof positive that the system works. If you buy through the Amazon link, small percentage to me, no more more expensive to you, go straight back into the podcast. Super appreciative, everybody's happy. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update in regards to the Uncharted retrospective. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I kind of spoke about this, and Uncharted 4 came out in May of this year. May, that's seven months ago. Seven. Time slips, my friends. Look at this. Look at this. Seven months ago, I was playing Uncharted 4. Um, and talking, you know, asking you guys whether you wanted just a review on Uncharted 4 or the entire retrospective. And of course, let's bear in mind, that was back when it was the old style as well. And that was one of the major derailing factors to my initial retrospective of uh, reviews is the fact that I needed to go back to the drawing board and redraft scripts, redo my notes, everything along the line there. And of course, I need to replay the games as well with that new way of doing it, the, the new system that's been in effect since episode 16, uh, Force Awakens. So thank you so much for your patience and understanding. Don't worry, it is, it is on the way. Early 2017, it's coming out. You can definitely have that look to, to look forward to. A lot, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now, just to, to whet your appetite and hopefully get you a little bit more excited uh, for it, if you're not already, because I'm a huge Uncharted fan, this is so much fun for me to do. The research that's got into it has helped me to understand the writing process of Uncharted in ways that I never thought of before and never interacted with or ever been bothered to find out. Um, the Golden Abyss episode, the game that came out on the Vita alone, like the research that has come out of that, come out of that is astounding. Not just in how to write a video game, but with how a video game company kind of operates, especially a smaller one. Ben Studios did that, and it's so informative, so interesting, and I hope that I can express that to you through the podcast as I give context to my pros and cons, the good, the bad, the geeky. Of course, looking at why they wrote it the way they did. 
and the research really backs it up. Some really good stuff, really interesting things. Hopefully, fingers crossed, despite how a diehard and a chartered fan you might be, some new things that might surprise you that you were never aware of. And that's what I hope to bring to you with this show, with this entire retrospective. Looking at uncharted stories that you may not even consider, in fact. And that leads me on to the next point here, is it is the holidays, the Uncharted retrospective is well underway uh, for research and putting together, ready for early 2017. The next episode that you can expect from me is going to be the Jurassic Park episode. That's still coming out this December. But past that, I've got nothing else in the canon right now. Everything else is going to be in early 2017 because I'm going to take a little bit of time to enjoy the holidays just like I hope you guys are. And incidentally, um, this is a really weird aside I'm sure, but if you guys got to go do your shopping in malls or anything like that, be nice to the retail staff. Be nice. Come on. They're working hard to try and make you happy. They've got to put up with a lot during their day, especially I'm sure for management and whatnot for Christmas sales. Just be a decent human being. Help them out, because they're there to help you. You know? Don't be a jerk. Alright? Um, and if you working, if you happen to work in retail over the holidays, I feel for you. Best of luck, man. I tried. I told them. I tried. You know, so you can't blame me. I tried to help you out. The next episode, because of the fact that I'm going to be taking a little bit of break for the holidays, enjoy it with my family, with my girlfriend, see everybody, and have a great time, just like you guys, will be the 16th. So the next time an episode lands will be January 16th, the Monday, of course. And the Monday prior to that, as you guys are well aware, Monday Mention. We're going to mention what the story is so that you can get caught up with it if you want to, so it's not completely uh, spoiled for you. I incidentally enough, th this is really interesting. I mean, as is a sweet update for I might as well um, run the gamut here, if you will put out another poll asking if people wanted the reviews to go spoiler free or uh, still with spoilers so that I can really get into the nitty gritty of the story if you will, especially with how I review it. And it was a runaway, it was an absolute runaway with people wanting me to keep it uh, as it is. Because I was worried, I was a little bit like maybe more people would be inclined to listen if it was spoiler free, but no. You guys want the spoilers in terms, I suppose, to allow me to really engage with the story, to really be able to talk about it in a no holds barred, anything is permitted sort of way so that we can understand the story writing process. And that's great because it shows that the new style works, you guys really dig it, you don't want me to change it, although of course I'm always open to the feedback to make minor tweaks and stuff, but a big thing like that going full spoiler free or keeping it as it is, thank you for getting back to me. Thank you for casting your vote if you did. Uh, thank you for listening to the show, of course, and, and having an opinion on such things. A big one for me, like a month or so ago, this was huge, this was very, very cool. Uh, the author of United States Japan reached out on Twitter. I, I was asleep because he's in America, I'm in the UK. Uh, despite the act, I know, I keep saying. Um, and I woke up to his tweets where he checked out the podcast, and I was astounded that Peter did the. Peter, close, one on one basis now, first name basis. Um, astounded that he checked out the podcast, but super honored that he did. Because it was an hour of his life that he chose to spend listening to me with the time that I obviously dedicated to the art that he created. And he was so super cool about the whole thing, not only in terms of enjoying the pros, but with the things that I wasn't so hot on uh, when I listed them out. He has a thick skin, he took it on the chin, he was super open to the constructive criticism, because that's what I was hoping it was. This is the thing about this podcast, it's never just like, this is good, this is bad, that's the end of it. He was impressed with the research that I did, and how I tried to use it in order to like support my points, if you will. Almost like the bait club to a point, I guess. But, of course, none of my opinions come from a bad place, a place of malice. I never denigrate anything for the sake of just being a troll or a jerk. I have my opinions. I am just one person, of course, and there are some stories out there that people love that I may not like and vice versa and pros, cons that we may agree or disagree on and that's absolutely fine. But it's a testament to him as a person as much as it is as a creative individual that he was able to listen to that, accept it, 
and who knows, maybe even grow from it. So thank you, Peter, for checking out the podcast. Thank you so much for getting in contact with me. And as I tweeted out to you, if my book ever gets published, I would love for you to read it and let me know what you think. You know, if I'm able to get that agent, man, 2017 and whatnot, you know, everybody's hoping for big things. Everybody hoped for big things in 2016, and that's exactly what we got, but not necessarily for the best of reasons. And that brings me to the end of the update, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to check it out. Remember, no new episodes past the Jurassic Park episode, because, hey, man, it's chilly outside. Let's go take a holiday to Island Nublar, check out what's going on there. I hear they have this fantastic theme park. Incidentally, the book, not the movie again, just to reiterate, as I've done on Twitter, Follow, incidentally, on Twitter, at Sweet Story Bro. Easiest way to get in contact with me. Easiest way for us to have a conversation, which is exactly what I want. To talk about these stories, to talk about these reviews. Agree with my points, disagree, let me know. I want to know, I want to have this conversation. Check out Potter and Family if you haven't yet. It's a hashtag, Potter and Family on Twitter. Who knows, you may be able to find your next favorite podcast apart from this one, of course. And please, enjoy the holidays. Take care. Have fun with your families. I hope you get something great. Share the stories. If you get a great story, let me know. And if you do buy somebody a story, especially if it's based on the podcast, right here, sweet story, bro, tweet me. Let me know. Take a photo of them with that story and, and send it to me. I'd love to see it. Happy holidays, guys. All the best.